Hi everyone, thank you for... Why did I do that? Okay. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I am Amy Pierce Stone of Her Art from the Attic. Today we're gonna, going to continue on our series of learning how to paint abstract paintings that are inspired by semi-precious stones. We, we did the turquoise stone last week. Really fun project. I'll put a link below so you can check that out. This week we're going to do the malachite. We're going to do an abstract painting inspired by malachite. So all you need for this is different shades of green nail polish, white if you want it. You also need a framed mirror or you can do a, pic a picture frame also. Um, and I prefer a mirror because the backs tend to be sealed off better and so you don't get that dripping. All right, let's get started. Grab any shade of green you want. I'm using a dark green right now. You can either cover part of your mirror or glass or the whole thing. Um, and then the rest of this painting, all you're going to do is pick a shade, any shade, pick a shade, any shade of green or white if you choose. And you're just going to pour circle within circle, within circle, within circle. And then just watch in fascination as the colors spread and the, these rings, these really thin rings of striking green develop. The more layers that you pour in, the more circle you put upon circle, the more fine your rings will be. See, right now, they're they're a good size, they're pretty thick, but I'm just going to keep on pouring and keep on pouring. Some malachite, it's, in fact, I would even say most malachite is pure green colors. You don't have a lot of white like this. I have seen some malachite with white, so I wanted to incorporate that into my painting because I think it just makes the green pop out a little bit more. And again, this painting, I just wanted it to be inspired by malachite, not necessarily um, an exact replication. So I am looking at, I'm referencing a photo right now. Boy, I wish I had one right in front of me though. I just typed in malachite on the internet. Now I've got a toothpick. Oh, you can see some of my paint dried a little bit. You wanna try to do this before your paint dries. but. Um, I am pulling the colors with my toothpick around each other and I'm, I'm messing with the shapes a little bit so you can have fun with that. You can either leave the rings perfectly circular or you can twist them around. Again, check out pictures of malachite and other semi-precious stones and you'll just get loads of ideas. Seriously, it's fascinating. I love it. Which is why you all get a big fat series of of inspired fluid painting from different kinds of stones. I seriously, I want to do like 30 of them over time. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I just love to watch it flow. Now I've got this going about 12 times faster than in real life, just to give you a little idea. With this, I think your eye can pick it up really fast. So I'm letting you watch it fast. Different shades of green. Some of my green has shimmer and sparkle in it. Now, if I were smart, I would have masked my frame you know, put masking tape around the frame so it didn't get paint on it. But I got the paint off as best I could and then I just painted black around that. Not my preference. <laughs> what can you do? Oh, you can mask it. I'm almost done here.
Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out our other abstract painting tutorials inspired by different semi-precious stones and be sure to check back in the future because I'm going to be posting a lot of them. Like I said, I'm a little bit obsessed. It's so much fun. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. Tell me below in the description if you have any ideas of different stones that you would like to see be the inspiration of these abstract paintings. Um, yeah, you can find, share with me your projects on my Facebook page. Just type in Her Art from the Attic and I'll pop up. You can also find me on Instagram. Anywhere else they can find me, Emma? Did you mention Facebook? I did mention Facebook. <laughs> you can go to my website too. I've got lots of paintings that need adopting. So, herartfromtheattic.com. Okay, friends, your artist BFF out. <laughs> <laughs>get to do this in either a very well ventilated area or outside. I recommend outside. When you start pouring out nail polish, the fumes are really quite potent. So do it outside, wear a mask, and be safe about this. Protect your lungs.